Hello, guys. Let's talk about the standard enthalpy of a reaction and the standard enthalpy of formation. So we actually know that the standard enthalpy of a reaction simply equals to the enthalpy change that occurs during a reaction when all reactants and products are in their standard states. And we can calculate it using this nice formula right here. Now, the standard enthalpy of formation is the change in enthalpy during the formation of one mole of a substance from its constituent elements with all substances in their standard state. So based on this, we can simply state that when we are forming one mole of a substance from its constituent elements, so the elements that actually make up that substance in their standard state, we are going to have the heat of formation equal to the heat of the reaction. All right, let me prove this to you. In which of the following will the standard enthalpy of a reaction equal to the standard enthalpy of formation? Now, we are forming water and we have actually two reactions. They are very, very similar to each other. Let's first use the formula given here on calculating the standard enthalpy of a reaction. So for reaction A, if I want to calculate the delta H of the reaction under standard conditions, I will need to look first at the products, right? I have only one product, which is water, and I have two moles of it, so I need to take that stoichiometric coefficient into account. So I'm going to do two moles multiplied by the heat of formation of the product, delta H f standard of h2o liquid okay do i have any more products no so these are my products and i have to subtract from it the same thing for the reactants so i have h2 gas as my first reactant and i have to take into account the coefficients from the reaction so two moles multiplied by the heat of formation of h2 gas plus one mole right we have only one mole of oxygen gas so multiplied by the heat of formation for O2 gas. Okay, now let's analyze this formula. What is the heat of formation of hydrogen gas? Well, it is actually in its most stable state, so the heat of formation of H2 gas is going to equal to zero. So this whole part will cancel out. Now, how about oxygen gas? What is the heat of formation of oxygen gas? Well, again, O2 gas is going to have a heat of formation equals to zero, so this whole part again cancels out. So from here, we can see that actually in case of A, the delta H of the reaction equals two times the heat of formation of my product. Okay, so in this case, the delta age of the reaction does not equal to the delta age of formation of my product. However, let's take a look at B. So in case of B, if I write out the same expressions, what will be the real difference? Well, let's start with my product. How many moles of liquid water do I have? Only one. Right, so I need to take one mole multiplied by the heat of formation of H2O liquid. Okay, and from this, I have to subtract the same for the reactant. So I have H2 gas and I have O2 gas. What is the heat of formation for H2 gas and O2 gas here? Well, it's going to equal to zero, right? Because it is exactly the same, just the number of moles is different as in the previous expression. So literally here, I proved that the standard enthalpy of the reaction equals to the standard enthalpy of formation of my product water. So 
keep in mind that whenever you see a reaction in which on the reactant side you only have elements in their most stable standard state and you form one mole of a product, the standard enthalpy of a reaction will equal always to the standard enthalpy of formation of the product. I hope this makes sense. See you in the next video.